Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. Um, if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining in. I usually do videos every weekend on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays because I work full time. Um, if I'm on vacation or I have a day off, I'll try to squeeze in an extra video. It's usually about luxury, contemporary. Um, I named it Cami's Closet because I figured whatever might be in my closet that I think is of interest and I want to share. So hopefully you like that kind of stuff. It might not, you know, it could be um, style things. It could be just tchotchkes I like to collect, whatever. Um, and for all of you that have come back and back and back and back, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, um, I appreciate all the support, all the subscribers, all the new subscribers that helped me get over the 500 and today I am going to announce the winner of my giveaway and I did decide I have another little thing um, besides what's in here which is a coach item a really nice coach item I have another little thing that I ordered from Saks a while ago and I think it's really cool and I'm gonna do a second giveaway kind of like a, a parting gift um, but let me just show you real quickly. I'm going to do it at the end of the video, so you stick around to find out the winner. I was writing names of every single person that wanted to be part of the, um, the giveaway, the, the word coach, write a little bit about me, whatnot. I have lists here of every single person, and I could not figure out how I was going to do this. I wanted to do it fairly. I didn't want anyone to think I was picking people that I know or that have been with me the longest or maybe not the longest or do the, the most cut, whatever. So I just wrote every person on the list. And quickly, you'll see two were highlighted in yellow. Just this morning, I took the list up to my husband and I said, look at these lists, just yellow, highlight two, two names. I, I, you don't know who they are, you have no idea, just highlight two names, and he did. So the first one and the second one, there'll be two winners today. I'm doing this video because Winnie BLV, and I will link her video below and her channel, did a video the other day maybe it wasn't the other day I watched it the other day I've had a really hard week and I also want to thank everyone for all your well wishes for my Coco girl she came home with us Tuesday and it's it's rough it's really rough she has diabetes and now we have to give her insulin twice a day um, she can only eat certain food she can't eat in between this is a dog that lived to eat and she ate a lot of you know which isn't the greatest but you know we gave her table food here and there, you know. She loves her pizza crust and her little pieces of macaroni. And and it's all got to stop now. And we have so many medications we have to give her for the next week. And she hates it. Some, you know, they're, they're oral. We have to inject it into her mouth. And we have to wait for an empty, on an empty stomach and some with food. And it's just awful. And she, she she's just, she's not happy. And But we have to do what we have to do to keep our baby with us so again thank you everyone for the well wishes and hopefully we'll have our cocoa girl for another few years I mean, she's not she's not a baby but we we need her around a couple more years um so anyway winnie back to winnie's video she did a video the bag my mom left me and i know she struggled to get through that bag she recently lost her mom i believe it's about a year to me that's recent i lost my mom three years ago this May will be four years, and it feels yet like yesterday. And five months later, my aunt died, her sister, who I was very close with. And three, four months ago in August, my uncle died, who was their brother. And they were all not, not old. My mother was 78, my aunt was 71, and my uncle was 71. And my aunt and uncle was kind of unexpected, you know, with their illnesses popping up like six months before, and then they died. Um, so I've had a rough three years, and now with Coco being sick, but Winnie showed this beautiful bag that I cannot pronounce. You'll have to go watch her video. This beautiful bag that she got from her mom. Her mom wasn't a big 
luxury bag wearer and believe me neither was my mother my mother did not you know my mother grew up in a family that was definitely middle class back in the she was born in 41 in the 50s and 60s they had money they were comfortable um, not wealthy wealthy but my grandfather owned a business but he sold the business when he was like 60 and retired and he was not wealthy and he was not the kind of mon person that spent money on anything but necessities you did not wear designer clothing you did not wear designer you, you didn't wear designer anything he sold my mother my grandmother had a couple of fur coats and some jewelry he sold most of it because it was unnecessary it was more important to have the money for your future so my mother was not raised with luxuries and then my mother and father got divorced when I was three my brother was seven and my mother had to go back to work and she worked in a dead-end job because she didn't go to college she went to college for like two years for secretarial science so she didn't have money she um, got divorced and my grandfather built an apartment in his two-family home the basement he built an apartment and that's where me my mother and my brother lived till I was 13 from 4 to 13 then we moved upstairs in the three-bedroom apartment and that's where I lived until my grandparents died and then my aunt my uncle and my mother had to sell the two-family house in Brooklyn so they would each get a third of that you know of that money and then my mother was able to buy a two-bedroom condo with that money it wasn't like it was um, a two million dollar home they sold the house back then like 25 years ago 30 years ago they, they got like 400,000 for it um, in Brooklyn so in any case skipping over or it will never end this video um, my mom didn't wear designer bags and when I started buying I got one Louis Vuitton when I was 40 then I didn't get another bag you know till I was maybe 45 46 maybe a few years later I had a couple of Doonies and a couple of coaches I did get a small Fendi bag in Atlantic City when I first met my husband and it was like $165 at the time which was like mind-blowing but when I brought home my Louis Vuitton when I was 40 and at the time it was the um the uh oh I forgot the name totally PM it was 1010 $1,010. My mother looked at it and said, you're an idiot. Then I got a Fendi. Um, Picane, Pic I forgot, I sold it to Fashion File, my mistake. And it was like a, a hobo bag. I bought that at the Short Hills Mall when I was about 45, maybe. I had that, 47. Um, and my mother said, you're an idiot. <laughs> Now let me back up. My mother wasn't abusive. Me and my mother were best friends. Um, when you raise Jewish in Brooklyn, that's kind of how you talk to each other. Kind of like a term of endearment. You're such an idiot. Um, so yeah, that was what my mother thought of luxury bags. Um, you don't spend $2,000 on a bag. That's ridiculous. You don't even spend, you know, okay if you really want to get a coach or a dooney for 300 that's pushing it but i um, you know she would be okay with that like once in a you know once a year for a real special occasion her special occasion bag was a tignanello if i'm pronouncing that correctly um from macy's or qvc if she was able to do it on flex pay and it was like 125 dollars and she could pay it in four payments that was her special bag she had just a handful of leather bags, um, no-name bags, and the Tignanello I gave to my friend's mom because she really loved it and it was in perfect condition and I just wanted to do that. So my mother had, you know, I, I sold a couple of her junky bags at a garage sale, except the bag she wore the day she went into the hospital and that was the day she never came home and that was May 1st, 2000 and. Uh, 2019 she died on May 16th three weeks later in the hospital this is the bag she went into the hospital with this is the bag she carried every day for about a year um, I looked everywhere there's no name on it 
it's in almost perfect condition, a little dirty because she spilled stuff on it. She didn't take care of it. But um, I took it home with me from the hospital and I hung it on my doorknob. And I went into the wallet because I needed to see if there was, you know, any important papers or documents or cash. <laughs> and there wasn't. She had um, $2 in there. So um, let me show you this bag. <laughs> this bag is made of like nylon. Look at it. It has uh, the pockets. This pocket in the front has uh, 50 cents in it. Wait. Wait. Yeah, 50 cents. Then there's a front pocket here, and it has a whole bunch of, it looks like AARP, doctor's appointment card. Um, I, I didn't even look at them. Single care, pharmacy card, a whole bunch of things. Um, here was, might have been friends, Lucy, Muffy with phone numbers. They might have been friends from her senior center. Then we have this pocket. Like a little, I don't know what, but it has a little spoon. <laughs> no, it's not a spoon for your nose. I believe my mother said she carried it with her in case she had a mix coffee or something or add sugar to coffee and she didn't have a spoon with her. <laughs> So she carried a spoon with her. And in this other pocket also is a lipstick. My mother wore Clinique on occasion. She wore Lancome. Um, her favorite perfume was Oscar de Laurent. I still have her one of the bottles in my closet or my bedroom somewhere. Um, this lipstick, I don't know what it is. FF? Have no idea. She loved pink. My mother was not um, fair like me. She was more olive complexion with black hair. Her hair was dark brown, but she dyed it black. I look more like my father. My father was blonde, blue eyed, fair skin. Um, he still, well, I say he was because as a kid, now he's bald <laughs> with blue eyes. This pretty, pretty pink color. I'm not sure it looks so good on me, maybe in the summer, but it looked great on my mother. So she had her lipstick and her spoon in this pocket. This has so many compartments. I can't even begin to tell you. Oh, here's another compartment. <laughs> she had a bag holder. You know the thing you put on the table? So your bag hangs? She had a bag holder for her bag. <laughs> I mean, I'm imagining this bag was like $20. Um, bag holder in that compartment. Oh, reading glasses. Reading glasses that are probably are filthy. So reading glasses. I have another pair of her glasses. I didn't know she had these in my in my jewelry box. I just keep them there. And a pill case with pills in it. I don't know what they are. The white ones look like Tylenol. The orange ones might have been her sugar, her sugar medication. She was diabetic. Um, there's really, you know, if this is bringing a smile to my face. It's probably boring the shit out of you, but that's okay. This pocket doesn't have anything. It has a list of her medications. <laughs> These were her medications and she carried it around with her in the event of an emergency every medication she was on. It was a lot. But you know what? I was lucky to have her as long as I did because she was really unhealthy. She was extremely overweight, diabetic. She smoked two packs a day until she was diagnosed with the lung cancer, which came after the breast cancer, which all was diagnosed at 76. So the fact that she went to 76 still going to her senior center, going away for a week every summer with her senior center, going to AC, her favorite thing in the world, Atlantic City, every month with her senior center. She was doing all of that till she was 76. And then she died like eight, 14 months after her diagnosis, her breast cancer diagnosis. I think it was neglect. 
I hate healthcare, I hate hospitals, and I hate most doctors. Next pocket. We wouldn't be my mother without sweet and low. <laughs> Tons of sweet and low. A band-aid and a pepper packet. Wouldn't be her without all this crap. <laughs> there's more. There's some there's salt packets in here too. And then she has oh look at this. She has a Vera Bradley card holder. <laughs> what does she have in it? Her Atlantic City rewards cards. Look how cute. This little material Vera Bradley. Would I ever wear it or buy it? No. But that's those are the things she liked. She was not going to wear luxury. She didn't have the money. She lived on a fixed income, her social security. In my apartment, in that we made my basement into an apartment. So she lived with me for the last 20 years, rent free. No, I'm lying. Don't strike me, Ma. She gave money um, when she first moved in. She gave a few hundred dollars to you know to help towards like whatever bills, whatever. I wasn't working. It was just my husband working. So for a couple, the first few years she gave money, but then once she retired um, and my husband retired, we stopped asking her for money. She cooked for us constantly. I had home cooked meals like three, four days a week. And then the others we were just ordering. I was probably the only mom that could sleep in on Saturday and Sunday mornings because my boys would go downstairs to grandma for breakfast. This is her wallet. My phone is ringing. Sorry, I'm not answering it. This was her wallet, another no-name wallet, and it had all her stuff in it, whatever she carried, checkbook. And it had uh, actually $2 in there. And I left it in there. So, uh, some garbage at the bottom, a couple of receipts I'm not going to go through. Another large back pocket with her cigarette case, with her lighter and cigarettes. And she quit about six months before she passed away, not that it was going to do any good, but she kept the cigarettes for an emergency. And in here also was some more cards her license, and I just left it the way it was. I quit smoking three years ago. The cigarettes are here. I would never, ever, I don't think I'll ever, ever go back, but I never say never because it's a really horrible addiction, and I smoked for over 35 years. Um, but right now, I don't see it in my future. So that was her cigarette case. So basically, it was just, you know, a shoulder strap bag, which she probably never wore on her shoulder because my mother was a very large woman and she, they would always fall off her shoulder. So she usually just held it like this. I'll show you how cute it was though. So. Yeah, you know, not a bag I would buy, not a bag I would probably wear, but it was my mom's bag and I will keep it forever for as long as I live I will have this bag and everything in it so quickly my mother's luxury luxury if she was going to an affair or a very you know high-end dinner her whiting in Davis <laughs> she had a cigarette case like this too but I think it it got it ruined so she gave it up she threw it away for the leather cigarette case but this was my mother's and you know she I, I don't even know what Whiting and Davis cost this bag has I've watched her wear this bag for probably the last 30 years she has to I this bag has been with us for at least 30 years I don't even know if the strap is leather it's not detachable it is adjustable um, but it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, you know, bag. It's a beautiful evening bag. It's, it's large capacity. It even has 
What does it have here? It has a zipper on the inside. You can't see. It's all black in there. But it, it's in good condition. It's a beautiful New Year's Eve bag. Bag for a wedding. Beautiful. Um, and then I kept... I don't know what this is, but it's Sorel. If anyone knows Sorel, S-O-R-E-L. I have boots by Sorel. This is silver. She never, I, I'm not gonna say she never wore it. It's like a turn lock, like Coach. And it's by Sorel. It's a little dusty at the bottom, so she must have worn it. I don't know if she just took it as a little clutch or maybe a makeup bag. It has a zipper on the back. It's really pretty. And the, the funny thing is, when you close it, you push, watch, watch this, watch, this is cool. It automatically flips. I don't know if Coach does that. <laughs> it's just, it's a pretty bag. If You know, if you just need a silver, sparkly, dressy bag, you know, it's cute. And she got this, it says ooh la la. It's a light gold fake leather. It has this big fat pearl. It's like a huge wristlet, like a large wristlet. Um, I, she got this, my aunt's friend, the last Christmas holiday, we did mixed, mixed holiday, um, like five years ago, when my aunt's friend Lila was there, she gave this as a gift to my mother, and it's, it's, I don't know the brand, I, I've never heard of it, Duvall or, I, I don't know, but it has a slip pocket and a zipper pocket, it says ooh la la, ooh la la, and it's a wristlet, and it's in like, um, not a shiny gold, it's like, um, like a matte, uh, light gold, it's really, really pretty. It, it's pretty, you know. Is it designer? No. Is it luxury? No. It probably costs, you know, 20 bucks. But it's really nice. And I kept it because it was really nice. I haven't used it, but I should. So that's um, the bags I have. Now, Winnie also showed a beautiful bracelet that she got from her mom, and she said she would give up every bag she has just to keep the one bag from her mother and the bracelet, 100%. If I had to give up every luxury bag I own and keep those and what's in this box and what's on my neck, absolutely. Um, my mother had a fair amount of jewelry, nice jewelry. Not like, you know, like a royalty status, but nice. So I'm going to start with my jewelry of the day. I, I'm at 22 minutes already. I'm sorry. I... Someone once asked me to do a jewelry collection. I'm doing a mini jewelry collection, just the things I have from my mother, except what I'm wearing. So, you know, if it's too long for you, you could fast forward, because I'm gonna do the drawing at the end. And if, you know, if you like, if you're enjoying my story time, then stay with me. I got my David Yerman bracelet on, yellow and gold. I'm in a two-tone mood, and I'll tell you why. The matching ring my wedding set, my two-tone, my diamond studs, and I'm wearing my coach that I got from TJ Maxx for $39.99. This was my mother's 14 karat gold chain, and this is a two-tone Jewish star. Hopefully you can see it. It's white gold, and I actually think rose gold. I'm not, I can't tell. Beautiful Jewish star. My mother put this on layaway at the local jewelry store, I can't tell, like maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago. Um, she, she didn't make a lot of money, my mother. So this thing, this just this pendant, not the chain, she had the chain. Just this pendant was about $300, and she put it on layaway with them because it's a local jewelry store. I use them also. So she gave them like $50 and then her next, you know, uh, social security check, she gave them another 50. And then it was around May. So it was Mother's Day. I went in and I paid the rest and I gave it to her as part of her Mother's Day gift. So this is very, very special to me. Hopefully you can see that how beautiful it is. It's a Jewish star. 
Um, in here, I'm going to try to go quickly. This was my grandmother's. Just a 14 karat gold. Very disco-like. Rope chain with the bars. That was my grandmother's. This cameo ring was my grandmother's. My aunt took a few things from my grandmother too, so I don't have those. My cousin, you know, obviously got those. This was um, a diamond eye that my grandparents bought my mother. 14 karat gold with diamonds. It's, it's an eye because her name was Eileen. I really don't have use to wear it, but she wore these earrings every day and they're so outdated, but they were, you know, hoop. They go in the ear like that, you know. 14 karat gold. This chain, this I wear. This is 14 karat gold and it's just circles. Sometimes I double it up or I just wear it long. It's beautiful. Then, this is very important to me. This came from my uncle. He gave, he sent this to me on my 50th birthday. Um, he lived in Florida um, and he passed three months ago. This bracelet is 14, you know what? I don't know. I haven't even brought it to the jeweler. It could be 18 karat or 14, yellow and rose with rubies. I might have shown this before, this bracelet. I'm not sure. I know it's hard to see it. This bracelet was given to my grandmother from my grandfather on their second year anniversary. Here's a picture and it's on her wrist. Hopefully you guys can see it. See, the, see her wrist? These are my grandparents, my mother's parents. This bracelet was on her wrist and this was I don't know when this picture was done, but they were only together like two years or something. Um, and this was a gift. So my uncle sent it to me for my 50th birthday. I didn't know he had it. And my mother had this, just a 14 karat golden diamond, which is very large. My mother wore like a, an eight. She was a large woman. Well, no, her wrists weren't that big, like a seven and a half. I haven't made that smaller. And this is very special to me. This was my, again, my grandfather gave my grandmother. It's a heart locket with a Jewish star and a diamond. Um, but it's inscribed and it says, oh, let me get my glasses. It says, oh, even with my glasses, it says, Helen and Lou, my grandfather was Louis. My grandmother was Helen, um, and it says, Helen and Lou, third anniversary. That's what's inscribed. They were married three years, he bought this for her. This is just beautiful. I should be wearing this every day. And then um, my mother had this watch. And I also need to make it smaller. I, I don't know, I know it's, either 14 or 18 karat gold, pink gold with diamonds and yellow citrine, which, you know, isn't the prettiest, but you know, it's, it's, this is very antique. Like I assume it's an antique. Um, you know, again, it's an antique. It was my mother's. Um, I don't know where she got it from. Beautiful face on this. Look at that with the diamonds and the citrine. Um, would I pick it out? Probably not. But <clears throat> so those are, I have one more bracelet from my mother, but it's in my jewelry box because I wear that one often. And I think that's it. Was there anything else in here? I have this great little box I got from the container store. No, it's empty. This box from the container store is the cutest thing for jewelry. It's called Stackers. Just in case you're wondering, it's upside down. Stackers, um, it's really great. Yeah, it holds so much. It's great for travel, um, just in case. Anyway, so that was all the jewelry that I have 
from my mom. It also came from my grandmother. And um, actually, I have a set of pearls. I'm sorry. My aunt, when I got married, gave me a, a thing of pearls from my grandmother. When my grandmother passed, my aunt took the pearls. And my aunt gave me those pearls. Even though you're not supposed to wear pearls, I did not wear them. I wore fake pearls on my wedding day, but my aunt gave me the pearls as a gift. So anyway, uh, I've had a really long week, a very hard week. I'm at 30 minutes and I'm so sorry. So I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, all these names, random names, my husband grabbed the pen, highlighted, and the two names, the two winners. The winner of the bigger prize is J Rob one two three. It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. J Rob one two three. <laughs> I'm gonna put my email down below. Make sure you email me so I can find out, get your address, and mail you your gift. J Rob one two three. And as a small parting gift, and I'm not going to disclose what's in here, but it is something from Saks Fifth Avenue. So it's not from the dollar store, it's from Saks. And the person that's getting that is Cheryl Santoro. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. That name sounds familiar too. I think you've been with me a real long time, Cheryl. If that's you, like I said, I did not want any part of making anyone feel that I did this unfairly. So Cheryl Santora, you're getting the little parting gift. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me, for helping my channel grow a little bit. Um, and hopefully I'll get to a thousand. I'll do another giveaway. I'm exhausted. I've had an exhausting week. I think I just bored you all to tears, but like I said, modern technology, you could have just fast forwarded through the whole thing. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.